Hello all my fire babies and welcome to your weekly general tarot reading. I am going to start right now. Now as always if you have not already done so go ahead and subscribe and make sure that you ting that bell before you or so you are notified when I upload new videos or I go live. Okay, now I am sorry for the uh, autofocus there. Hopefully it'll stop. Okay, now I have already prayed over these cards. Now I'm just going to go ahead and deal. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, now as usual, if you would like a private reading with me, you can go to my website, astrologyoils.com. Or alternatively, you can go to Astrology Oils on Facebook. And while you're there booking your appointment, don't forget to like and share my page. It would be very much appreciated. And if you would like to join the group, that is still available to join for free. Okay, let's see what is going on with you guys this week. Okay, you have the Four of Air, and you have the Tower. Okay, now, the, the Four of Air is your um, signs and symbols. This, these things are right in front of you, and this card is telling you to really pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the signs that are being shown to you. Um, some things are really wanting to make themselves known and are really repeatedly showing up in front of you. So really pay attention and um, look at the things that are being shown to you. You know, some things can be warnings, some things can be directional, um, things like that. So really pay attention. Uh, and you have the tower coming in, you know, uh, this isn't really great um, outlook for the week, but at least you're getting the heads up. Um, you know, things may be going awry and going to miss this week. And that is pretty typical, especially with Mercury in retrograde. And yes, we are all in it. And uh, it's, of course, hitting me as well, so don't feel bad. Uh, but whatever happens this week, you know, these little things that get broken or you know, miscommunications or, you know, issues, technical issues, you know, which I have been having quite a few of those. Uh, there's been technical issues with my video equipment for a couple weeks now. We've been feeling mercury coming in and it is in, it is in retrograde. So just be careful when it comes to your communications and to thing when things go bad, don't forget that even though you know, little bumps in the road happen, you know, you always have that chance of rebuilding things even better than they were before. So just keep that in mind. Now you have attraction coming in here on, on Monday, you know, somebody's coming in here that you're really gonna, um, be dazzled by here. Uh, but along with that person, you know, you're going to feel like, you know, you're not, enough person for that person you know what I mean you're not that type of person that is good for this person or you're not you feel like you're not good enough for this person uh, keep that thought out of your mind you know no person is better than the next it doesn't matter who you are where you come from you are good enough for any other person on the face of this earth and you have the three of stones or three of swords coming in here telling you to guard your heart you know well it, this card can mean a few things. Now, I take it a lot of times, especially when you have the lover's card coming in here. Uh, I am taking this as you need to guard your heart from this person. You know, you're really attracted to this person. Um, and you have that, you know, feeling of not being good enough. And I think maybe you need to guard your heart from this person because maybe that person has that kind of mindset as well. And you're just going to get hurt. Or this could mean that it's going to take three days, three weeks, three months for you to really get in, take this relationship to the next level. So 
So that, is, that could be a few different explanations there with that Three of Swords. Okay, and you have the Seven of Vessels coming in here on Tuesday. There's a little bit of mourning going on. Um, maybe, you know, whatever is going on in this situation, maybe it kind of, you know, you were attracted to this person and maybe you have found out that, you know, they were already with somebody. You know, something to has to do with that kind of a situation, that kind of a thing. But don't let it get you down. You know, like I said, you should, you should guard your heart. Um, don't take things, you know, too fast. Don't think, you know, and definitely don't get down on yourself because it has nothing to do with you. Okay, and now you have the Son of Pentacles coming in here, um, helping you to gather the resources that you're going to need to move forward in some endeavor or something to do with probably work. Um, and of course right in here on Tuesday is when the tower is going to come at you. So um, really pay attention Tuesday with your communication, your technical issues, any kind of technical issues or anything like that. And again, I can't tell you enough. Remember, even though these little things happen, it's for a reason and it gives you the chance to really build back, build things back up with a more solid foundation and build them back up better. Okay, on Wednesday, um, you have the Ace of Arrows coming in here. Now, this is all about what you're passionate about, and it's a brand new start. It's a breath of life. It's the beginning of something that is uh, has unlimited potential. And you have, again, a little bit of mourning coming in here. Now, whatever your whatever loss you're feeling, um, try to concentrate on what you still have in front of you and what you still have, because uh, you can make huge things happen with very little resources. And so, just try to concentrate on that and try to keep what your your that feeling of loss behind you. And you have the Seven of Swords. You know, I don't know if this has anything to do with this person here on Monday. Uh, but the Seven of Swords is all about somebody stealing from you, somebody hiding from you, somebody, you know, being really shady. Um, so maybe that's where the, the guarding your heart kind of thing came from is coming in here. Uh, this person, I don't know if it's the same person that you're attracted to, but if it is, really, I'm, I'm not getting a good vibe about this person. And this Three of Swords was definitely about guarding your heart. Now on Thursday, you have the Page of Bows coming in here, and you're getting the opportunity um, to take charge of something, to take the lead in some kind of um, project, maybe at work, or something to do with, you know, being in charge of something, and you're given that, that opportunity. So really take advantage of that position that you're being put in and when you do the chariots coming in saying that you're going to triumph there's going to be early triumphs there you're going to learn to balance everything and it's going to turn out really great for you and then you have the magician coming in reminding you that you know whatever it is that you want to manifest especially on Thursday you can do it you have the intelligence you have the resources you have the willpower you you know how to do all of this stuff so whatever it is that you want to manifest on on thursday and especially in regards to this um, position that you're being put in charge of you have the power to do so and on friday you are celebrating and um you are really really happy about where things are going um when it come by the time friday rolls around here and you have the um, Seven of Pentacles coming in here, uh, which you're really starting to get to the point where you are um, learning and perfecting your craft and really taking things seriously when it comes to your profession. And you have the Six of Swords coming in saying that you're moving on and you're leaving some things behind. Uh, don't be afraid to leave those things behind because they're not serving you now and they won't in the future Especially if they, you take them with you. They're just going to have they're just going to cut you um, Just leave that stuff behind now 
on the weekend you have the three of arrows coming in here this is somebody's jealous of what you're gaining somebody is really taking things you know to the next level as far as being vindictive uh, so again guard your heart and really try to um, curb whatever this jealousy is I know a lot of times that's pretty much impossible um, but you have the ace of swords coming in here bringing you some new and innovative ways to solve these problems with this person you know whatever's going on with this person and you have the page of swords coming in to help you gather information on what it is that you have to do in order to move forward and typically with your career um, and in what uh, direction you want to go in and you know basically gathering you all information that you're going to need in order to progress in order to move forward and to do a good job at this new uh, profession now I hope you guys enjoyed that reading before you go make sure you watch more fire sign videos and don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on this video